Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, September 19th, of 2024. I'm Giovanni Benacourt, and this is uh, being recorded previously to the U.S. Open. All right, so we've seen on the, on the daily uh, candlestick chart that the markets are in a rally mode. All right, so this is the all-time high for the NASDAQ. All right, so we'll, be, we'll reach it today. I think we that momentum will uh, spill over to the uh, when the U.S. session opens, obviously, and uh, let's use nineteen thousand four hundred. Let's just use the crossing of these two moving averages <clears throat> as a probable level of support and twenty thousand four hundred as a as a resistance, our target for today. I mean, down the road, can we get to twenty one thousand? That would be the big question. Uh, momentum that has obviously. Uh, taken the S&P beyond beyond its all-time high, which it was 5,720. So therefore, that is already uh, really can eliminate it. Uh, so let's just raise our level of resistance. 5,800 could probably be a level, uh, and then 5,650 could probably be a nice level of support. The market is in completely rally mode. RSI is about to enter uh, or about territory. We have all four indices doing the same. Okay, all four indices. Uh, the uh, Dow Jones Industrial uh, are really making again all time highs. We are we met yesterday's high. So 42,600. I'm gonna use that just because it's a nice round number. Uh, as a probable level of resistance. RSI is entering overbought territory, so keep that in mind. But obviously, in a, in a few minutes, the USA session will be opening. And then we have the Russell. Also, all four indices are on to the upside. The Russell's all time high is 2,463. So let's see if that will be met. Let's use 2,320 for our level of resistance for today. Now, target RSI is a bit further away from entering overbought territory, but uh, yes, about to enter anyhow. Crude oil also making a nice uh, you know, spike to the upside, move to the upside. $72 is just screams at you. Uh, 68, 37 is gonna continue to be the support. So let's go with it, with the momentum to the upside, buying, now, obviously, crude oil. Net gas is you know, looking to uh, fluctuate to the downside doing some little bit of a sell-off, profit taking, obviously also. So, so I'm gonna leave 230 as a probable level of resistance and then 215 as a probable level of support. So selling into the uh, morning session. Uh, gold, it spiked. Uh, so 2600 is gonna be our, it's, it's, it touched it yesterday really. Uh, and then you retweet it. So most likely let's see if it would be remet today. So that's, our target for today, 2,600 silver, 3,140 haven't been breached, so he's going to maintain the same. Uh, the support has been uh, kind of being violated, so let's lower that a bit, but to the momentum to the upside. Copper also making nice move to the upside, so 440 is going to be our level of resistance, and let's just use the... Uh, crossings or the moving averages as our level of support. And then we're gonna use Bitcoin, see Bitcoin, oh, Bitcoin, nice, move to the upside. Whoa, 64,000 is right around the corner. Let's just use this high right here, uh, this previous high made on the uh, August 26th. Let's also leave that support at 58,800 to the upside, buying momentum, all is it's buying today. Dollar, dollar must be in the floors. Okay, so, uh, the uh, euro deflectuate above our resistance, so let's just use the top volume year band as a priority target for today. So 112 is around the corner. Then we have the pound that even though the Bank of England left its chain, its base unchanged, it, it is looking uh, at some volatility to the upside. So let's use do this and be to the upside. So dollar index. It is doing a lot of volatility. So 
let's see if uh, if it'll come co continue to move forward, move, move lower uh, today into towards that 100. If it breaks that 100, uh, if we see that the dollar index just happening just continues to you know, trend lower, we're gonna be seeing a nice strong spike in everything across the board. On the other hand, if we see the dollar index recuperating and, and, and fluctuating to the upside, then we'll probably see a reversal on the markets. Have a nice day. Have a great trading day. I'll see you tomorrow.